Lasciati, lato figlio, a te concedo riveder, nell'ombra, nel silenzio, la, e il tuo rosore lonta mia, nascondi. Magical story about how you met and decided to marry. Uh, Who gets to tell it? I guess you said. No. <laughs> you said. I uh, did a book called Opera Illustrated, and my manager wanted um, one of the hmm. big three, um, Pavarotti or Domingo. And uh, it didn't work out, so she said, you know, you really should ask a Canadian, and I thought that was a great idea. So she said, um, Louis Pulico is our great baritone, and uh, why don't you get him to write the preface? So I walked in with my book of drawings. What did well, you think the first time she walked in? I have to say one thing. She, I was very much impressed, mm. because I had never seen her, <laughs> and I didn't know who was going to come in or anything like that. And the thing that was, for me, a wonderful feeling it's not only that there was a beautiful woman in front of me, but there was more than that, you know? To be able to talk with someone, this is very important in life. And it creates everything that, you know, if you don't have that, you, you're sunk. And the funny and, thing is yeah. that we didn't meet uh, performing. We met over this book, and uh, but right. there was an addendum to that because yeah. you said you would do it only if I did your portrait. That's right. So and what did you think of that? I thought it was a great idea, and I thought it was just fair. If he was going to do the preface for my book, I should do his portrait. No, she was wonderful. Now, the reason, of course, that you were drawing, I mean, the extraordinary thing is, not only are you a world-renowned pianist, but you do all this other stuff, really detailed, exquisite drawings. She's sort of what? Oh, yes. Like a Renaissance woman. When I sit, especially with her, my two stepdaughter, and my mother-in-law, if we sit around the table, these three together, you put them together, it's incredible. It's a world by himself. What? I want to talk a little bit about your music, which is so different from his music, and in some ways, this is a remarkable partnership as well. But your voice, it's so strong. What does it feel like to have that kind of power? I, I don't try to be powerful. It happens, it though, doesn't is, it? It's not that. You learn how to produce a voice, and that that's what it is, you know? People always think, oh, he's got a big voice, a big... I don't have a big voice. It's well projected, and that is the thing that's very important. It's the same with music, the same with life. You have to go for the quality, whether it's rap, whether it's new music, whether it's opera, whether it's classical. If it's good, it's good. I listen to it all. I love it all. And it's the same with human beings. It's the relationship uh, between two people. If it's there, it's there. It doesn't matter what I have to say, for me, it was one thing that was great. After that I met her and we started to talk and all that, I realized there is the woman that I will love the most I ever met and never loved a woman in my life. And that was very important for me. Songe bien, oui, songe en combattant, qu'un noir te regarde et que l'amour t'attend, doré alors, l'amour, l'amour t'attend.
important chez le chanteur, mmh. c'est de pouvoir connaître son instrument. Et c'est ça que je trouve qui est déplorable chez, chez le chanteur. Il ne connaît pas son instrument. Non. Et c'est ça qui est très difficile. Regardez, là, on voudrait présenter quelqu'un qui est très spécial dans votre vie, qui d'ailleurs a partagé la scène avec vous ce oui, soir. Oui. C'est Christina Petrovska Kiliko, la nouvelle épouse de M. Kiliko. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Vous êtes content. Bien, je dois dire quelque chose. Vous savez, c'est une personne qui euh, m'a fait des redécouvrir la vie. Oui. Parce que ce qui est arrivé, c'est qu'à un moment donné, je me sentais très, je me sentais très délaissé et je, je me sentais même que j'étais presque au moment de, de prendre la retraite oui. et de laisser tomber, ça, ça venait de tomber. Et j'ai connu cette femme qui m'a fait comprendre qu'on pouvait continuer. C'est pour ça que je continue. Puis elle a sorti un livre magnifique, un magnifique Opera Illustrated, An Artistic Odyssey. Et là-dedans, vous retrouvez également. C'est là où vous vous êtes rencontrés, je pense, avec la sortie de ce euh, livre. C'est-à-dire, ce qui est arrivé, la première des choses qu'elle a connues, elle a connu mon petit-fils, oui. qui est allé à l'université où est-ce qu'elle enseigne, euh, pour étudier la musique. Là, je vais montrer ça, parce que ça, c'est Louis Quilico dans le rôle Et de Paul Et ça, c'est madame. Que c'est magnifique. Ah, c'est vraiment magnifique. Puis ouais. ce soir, M. Kiliko, vous êtes porte-parole également d'un événement assez particulier. Et j'imagine que pour vous, vous êtes ravi parce que c'était. Ah, oh, Amadano, my mama, look at my beautiful wife. I'm a feel so happy. Amadano, one of the so lucky fellow. Mama, mama, up in the heaven, how you like my girl? How you like the sympathetic smile on the face, Mama, the face. Like the sun, she's a light of my place. Mama, Mama, up in the heaven, how you like your dog for a little big boy. He's a wait so long, he's a find such a joy. A find a joy. Prince Igor. The Prince Igor. Okay. It's the Ela. Ela, it's more. Oh! 